Right now, anger in Parkland over the newest building at Stoneman Douglas High. And that's because some parents say there's no recognition of the 17 lives that were tragically cut short in the Valentine's Day massacre. Local 10's Janine Stanwood has the emotional ceremony. A small private ceremony for the opening of the newest building here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. But some say not enough is being done to honor the lives of those who were killed here. It's like living in a dream that you broadcast live on Facebook. A small ceremony commemorating the newest building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High to replace the one where the 2018 massacre shattered lives. In January, we had a preview of the 45,000 square foot state of the art facility, but now some Parkland parents want to know how their loved ones will be honored. The only plaque inside they say commemorates the school board. It was infuriating. A lot of us blame the school board members for failing to protect our kids. We're reminded that that building exists because our loved ones were murdered. My beautiful 14 year old daughter, Gina. So to not have our loved ones recognized in any way, shape or form is truly painful. There are plans in the works for a memorial at Building 12 once it's demolished, but prosecutors want it preserved through the trial. It could be a while. Parkland parent and now school board member Lori Alhadev says she had no idea there would be a plaque with the names of school board members on it. She tells us the least that could be done would be a plaque with the names of those who lost their lives. She says she plans to bring that up at the next school board meeting. We're in Parkland. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.